Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Here. Madam Chair, we have a quorum. Thank you. Approval of the journal. I move for approval of the journal, the meeting of August 12, 2014. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The journal is approved. We have no bid openings this evening, so we'll move to uh, communications. Madam Chair, there are no tax compromises, zoning matters, or road and bridge matters this evening, so I move to other communications. Under other communications, item number one, third district. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number two, sixth district. Uh, receive file and change of owner be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Please read the add-ons. Item number one, second and seventh district. Receive file and county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Uh, so ordered. Item number two, all districts. Receive and file same motion for items number three, and that will be the order. Item number four. Receive file in the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation and that will be the order. I'm not sure I have this one report. Uh, we're asking the council this evening to appropriate up to a million dollars request to the SIPs, those residents in the area, uh, in the Ferguson area, under duress. There are some real issues there that we need to address. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't know exactly how much to say up to, but we got to start somewhere. So I want to ask the council to uh, give it favorable consideration. Thank you. <clears throat> there are no reports of special committees this evening, so we'll move to the public forum. We have three speakers. Our first speaker is Marquise Govan. I would just like to say that the people of Ferguson, I believe, don't need tear gas thrown at them. I believe they need jobs. I believe the people of Ferguson, they don't need, need batons. They don't need to be hit with batons. What they need is uh, people to be investing in their businesses. We don't need uh, all these rubber bullets being shot at us. Uh, and people and the people of Ferguson, what we need is uh, we need we need better living and housing conditions. That's what we need. And I would like the board, uh, the council, to get a bill that would help North County. I would also like to say that we need to diversify. Um, we need a more diverse government. We need to make sure that uh, people uh, of minority are, get a chance to. Uh, serve on police departments. We also need better educations for the people in North County. That's not being solved. And that's why I'm here today to tell you that that the real issues aren't being solved, that you're paying attention to the wrong things. You're paying attention to the looting and things like that when the real issues aren't being solved. There's a reason why those people are out there. I also want to say that we need to, um, what I mean by diversifying is, I mean, uh, where are all the African American police officers in our community, uh, when we have a majority African American community and we have majority white police um, departments, where are all the African American police officers? And why do we have um, mostly people of ma the major majority working in our neighborhoods? Why don't we have people 
that are our color working in our neighborhoods. It's not right that we have people uh, why, that we can't get a job in our own neighborhoods, that we have people who are white working in our own neighborhoods. It's not right that we can't even get a job in our own neighborhoods. Thank you. Thank you, Marquise. <laughs> Marquise is the, is the young man that I introduced a few weeks ago who has been attending the council meetings for regularly, for I think for the last three months or so at least. So thank you, Marquise. We appreciate you. <clears throat> Philip Duvall. Good evening, Council. My name is Philip Duvall. I'm a resident currently in Baldwin, 101 Holly Green, but also a uh, homeowner in Ferguson, 8434 Falmouth. Uh, approximately 14 years ago, I stood before this council in the aftermath of some very serious shootings. Uh, in 2000, the Jack in the Box shooting, uh, as well as 2001, the Annette Green shooting. Um, as a pastor at that time and a minister, which I still am today, uh, I remember being very passionate but also very impatient. Um, but I also recall saying to this body that if we didn't do anything, and if we didn't put measures in place, that there would be days that people would come out and start burning and firing. And, and I recall being uh, chastised uh, by fellow clergy, uh, <clears throat> fellow members of the community, and, and some of you here uh, who said to me privately that I was just full of hot rhetoric. 14 years later, I'm sorry to see the worst of my fears are realized upon this community. Uh, understanding that, I'm not here to chastise you about what we failed to do. I'm here to consider some things that I wish that we would do. Uh, one of the things that I would hope that you would take note is to go to a uh, website called policylink.org. Policylink.org. And we may be able to find some, some valuable information. Uh, I appreciate, first forgive me, I appreciate for recognizing uh, the county executive, Mr. Dooley, who I feel has been fair-minded through the years. Uh, so I was glad to hear uh, that he has put up uh, or requested uh, a review of putting some money uh, for those Ferguson businessmen. But I say all that to say that the policylink.org, we may be able to find some other funding opportunities for the entire county and, and to all those underprivileged areas where we might be able to help some of those that are distressed, um, not just from financial but economic conditions that have affected the entire uh, community in the country. And then lastly, you know, as I have said, uh, hurting, looking at the, the police departments, I'm not here to talk about racial profiling statistics. It would be in our best interest. It's free. It is free. The CRS, the Division of Department of Justice, has free training that we just send the mediators down here, not after this happens, but prior to it happening. Imagine had we been ahead of this with clergy, businessmen, community people, and all across the board to receive training from the Department of Justice to go out there and be the marshals so we can still have civil disobedience without all the discourse. So th those are my comments. Please take them under advisement. Thank you for your time. Let me see. Thank you. Uh, uh, Reverend DeVoe, let me say a couple of things, and I'm going to be brief. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I agree with what you're saying wholeheartedly. There's some things we could do on the front end, but I would suggest to you that uh, in the city of Ferguson, they have their own police department, their own jurisdiction. St. Louis County do not have jurisdiction over those individuals. We provide services to those individuals on training, but after they have the training, it is up to that municipality to come forth with the additional training and sensitivity training that those officers may need. So I want to make sure, sometimes people get confused about St. Louis County and a municipality. Absolutely. Here it is different. I understand. Sir. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you. D D Damian Johnson. Is that right? Yes, that's that? Damian Johnson. Yes, I believe I sent a letter to the, all the council people about the response in response to Chiefs uh, Dawson and his opinion of handling uh, 
um, of the county chief in front of Ferguson, and I wanted to respond to that. Basically, I think um, uh, DA Bob Caldwell and the chief uh, is doing a professional job. I don't think they need to be replaced. I think they should continue to do their job in the county, and I'm kind of disappointed that um, the chief decided that he's not only not going to support the county in times of crisis, but in my opinion, that he's going to step in and give his opinion. And as a city resident, I think he should spend more time fixing his department, improving response time, um, including it is um, responding to minor things. It is well known that in the city, if your car is smashed in, uh, the police is not going to respond. I've seen it happen. In, and I remember in a neighborhood meeting that when people were complaining about response time, they were told, call again. In the county, um, they have good response time. And I don't feel the county needs a lecture from the city on how to run their police department. That's Thank you. Thank you. That will conclude the public forum introduction of bills. Bill number 183 introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $144,678.93 from the Missouri Department of Public Safety, appropriating the same for support of the Choices Drug and Alcohol Treatment Program, and authorizing the county executive to execute the necessary documents. Bill number 184 introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $1,000 from the Office of State Courts Administrator, appropriating the same for support of the Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative Program of the Family Court, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 185, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $1,990 from the Office of State Courts Administrator, appropriating the same for support of the Regional Training Initiative Program for the Family Court, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. <clears throat> Bill number 186, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with the City of St. Louis for the services of John D. Bales as Airport Deputy Director at Lambert International Airport. Bill number 187, introduced by Councilmember Wassinger, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute an amendment to a contract with Ross and Berezini, Incorporated for design of the Emergency Communication Center, SLCPW number 10-027-OC. Bill number 188, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the County General Fund for the year 2014. Bill number 189, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the Health Fund for the year 2014. Bill number 190, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the Park Maintenance Fund for the year 2014. Bill number 191, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the Special Road and Bridge Fund for the year 2014. Bill number 192, introduced by Councilmember Quinn, an ordinance changing the name of a portion of Old Sulphur Spring Road to Merrimack Grove Drive. Bill number 193, introduced by Councilmember Dolan for Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Gershon, Gershenson Construction Company Incorporated for construction of a roundabout at Old Hallsbury Road and Vale Avenue, AR-1232. Bill number 194, introduced by Councilmember Quinn, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission and Central Midland Railway Company in connection with safety improvements to Baxter Road, U.S. Department of Transportation Crossing number 596256A. Bill number 195, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance appropriating $2 million from the unappropriate balance of the general fund for police overtime pay. Bill number 196, introduced by Councilmember Stanger, <coughs> an ordinance approving a petition for the creation of the Lima Community Improvement District, establishing the district as a political subdivision of the state of Missouri, and directing the administrative director to notify the Missouri Department of Economic Development of the creation of the district. Bill number 197, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the issue of not to exceed $15 million principal amount of special obligation notes general fund tax anticipation, series two. 
2014-1 of St. Louis County, Missouri, for the purposes of providing funds to pay and discharge the expenses and obligations properly payable from the General Revenue Fund of the county in the county's fiscal year to send fiscal year ending December 31st, 2014, mm -hmm. prescribing the form and details of said notes and the covenants and agreements to provide for the payment and security thereof, and authorizing certain <coughs> actions and documents and prescribing other matters relating thereto. Bill number 198, introduced by Councilmember Wassinger, an ordinance amending ordinance number 18,225 by repealing and reenacting section two pertaining to PC 64-96, William J. Baber. Bill number 199, introduced by Councilmember Page, an ordinance amending the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and Zoning District Maps by changing the boundaries of the C2 Shopping District and the C8 Plan Commercial District and approving the application and preliminary plans for the development of the C8 Plan Commercial District of Attractive Land Subject to Conditions, PC 14-14, Data Properties. Madam Chair, that is all the bills. Thank you. Perfection of bills. Bill number eight, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. Please hold. <coughs> so ordered. Bill number 69, introduced by Councilmember Irby. Uh, please hold Bill 69, and that will be the order. Bill number 118, introduced by Councilmember Irby. Please hold Bill 118, and that will be the order. Bill number 123, introduced by Councilmember Irby. Please hold Bill number 123, and that will be the order. Bill number 178, introduced by Councilmember Wassinger. I move to perfect Bill number 178. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Bill number 178 is perfected. Bill number 179, introduced by Councilmember Irby. <coughs> I move for perfection of Bill number 179. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 179 is perfected. Bill number 180, introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move for, per for perfection of Bill number 180. Second. Twister. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 180 is perfected. Bill number 181 introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move for perfection of Bill number 181. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 181 is perfected. Bill number 182 introduced by Councilmember O'Mara for Councilmember Stanger. I move for perfection of Bill number 182. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Bill number 182 <coughs> is perfected. Final passage of bills. Bill number 330, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. Please hold. So ordered. Bill number 168, introduced by Councilmember Wassinger. I move for final passage of bill number 168. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Mara. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. Madam Chair, bill number 168, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 168 is finally passed. Bill number 171, introduced by Councilmember Quinn. I take it up. I move final passage of bill number 171. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Mara. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. Madam Chair, bill number 171, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 171 is finally passed. Bill number 172, introduced by Councilmember Quinn. <coughs> I take it up. I move final passage of bill number 172. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Mara. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. Madam Chair, bill number 172, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 172 is finally passed. Bill number 173, introduced by Councilmember Quinn for Councilmember Wassinger. I move for final passage of bill number 173. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Mara. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. <coughs> Councilmember Quinn. Aye. And a term bill number 173, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 173 is finally passed. Bill number 174, introduced by Councilmember Quinn for Councilmember Wassinger. I move for final passage of bill number 174. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Mara. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. Madam Chair, bill number 174, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 174 is finally passed. Bill number 175, introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move for final passage of bill number 175. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Page. Aye. 
Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Senate Bill number 175, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 175 is finally passed. Bill number 176, introduced by Councilmember Quinn. I take it up. I move final passage of Bill number 176. Second. <coughs> Roll call. Councilmember Irving? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 176, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 176 is finally passed. Bill number 177, introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move for final passage of Bill number 177. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 177, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 177 is finally passed. Do we have resolutions, Madam Chair? We have two this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for adoption of resolution number one. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Mara? Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on resolution number one, there are six ayes and one absent. Resolution number one is adopted. Resolution number two, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for adoption of resolution number two. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Mara? Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on resolution number two, there are six ayes and one absent. Resolution number two is adopted. Moving on to unfinished business, Madam Chair, item number one. Hold on the order of business, and that will be the order. Item number two. Hold on the order of business, and that will be the order. Item number three, six district. Please hold. So ordered. Item number four, six district. Please hold. So ordered. Item number five, fourth district. Please hold. So ordered. Item number six, fifth district. Please hold. Uh, so ordered. Item number seven, fifth district. Also, please hold. So ordered. And Madam Chair, moving on to new business, we have two prepared orders this evening. I move for adoption of orders one and two. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Orders number one and two are adopted. Move we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.